The city of Porterville tonight continues to mourn the loss of two firefighters killed in a library fire Tuesday night. Residents can take small measure of comfort in knowing that the bodies of both men have been recovered. 17's Taylor Shaw was in Porterville this morning and has more. Captain Figueroa and Firefighter Patrick um, are consummate professionals. That's, that's what I can say to you right now and keep it together. The Porterville City Library up in flames. Two firefighters, Captain Raymond Figueroa and Patrick Jones, went inside the building while it was on fire to search for people who may have been trapped inside. Shortly after they entered the building, Portersville Fire made a mayday call. And a rescue team started a search for the firefighters. Figueroa was found and transported to Sierra View District Hospital where he was pronounced by medical staff. But even after the fire was put out, Jones was still unaccounted for. Fellow firefighters from around the region came to assist with the search, including crews from Bakersfield and Kern County. The fact that people are coming from all over um, to represent not only their own department but help show respect uh, up here. It's a big deal and very emotional time for a lot of people. Not stopping until they found their fellow firefighter. They, uh, they had a choice to um, stop their operations to the cover of darkness and they decided to push on through and dig until they found him. Once his remains were found, those agencies along with law enforcement throughout the state joined forces for a processional, delivering his body to the coroner in Visalia. An emotional scene for Chief John Lawless. The outpouring of support that we have received is indescribable. It's just been heartfelt and uh, it's, it's, we've needed it. While we don't know exactly how the firefighters perished, two 13-year-olds have been arrested, accused of starting the blaze. Our investigation has determined that uh, these two juveniles did uh, start the fire intentionally. And while they won't be charged as adults due to their age, the teens will still face charges of arson and manslaughter as this tragedy looms large for this Central Valley city. Buildings can be replaced and, and those sorts of things. It's the people, it's the people that I, I, are the focus.